Okay, and some people had questions on 42 and 44. They said they wanted to see this. This is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, 42, find the instantaneous rate of change of this function. X squared minus 2 over X plus 4. So we just wrote this as a negative exponent. X squared minus 2X to the negative 1 plus 4. If we want the instantaneous rate of change, all we have to do is take the derivative. That's F prime. So that's going to be 2X. And a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 to the negative 2, which is just this. All right, and they want to find the instantaneous rate of change at x equals negative 1, so I just put negative 1 in here. f prime of negative 1. So it's going to be 2, time ne two times negative 1. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be positive, shouldn't it? Excuse me. There we go. Didn't notice that. Okay, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Transpose that over there wrong. Okay, so that's just going to be 2 times negative 1 plus 2 over negative 1 squared. And that's just going to be negative 2, and negative 1 squared is 1, plus 2 is 0. So the answer was C. All right, and then number 44, um, at which of the following, and this is particles referring to this position function, 2 plus 7t minus t squared, and it says... Uh, which of the following times is the particle moving to the left? Well, it would be moving to the left when the velocity is negative. So I just took the derivative to find the velocity, and the velocity was 7 minus 2t. And that's going to be moving to the left when it's negative. So I just said less than 0, so I solved this. And it's going to be moving to the left when t is greater than 7 halves, greater than 7 halves, or when t is greater than 3 and a half. Not equal to 3 and a half. That's actually basically when it's going to stop. So... The answer was letter E, which was T equals 4. It's moving to the left. Okay, it's got to be greater than 3 halves. At 3 halves, it's actually stopped. Okay, so it was letter E, 4. Okay, almost makes sense.